Hi. In this lesson, we will see how to send data from access form to a Word file. Here we have some stuff member if you select any of them, let's say Oliver. If I send this data and open the Word file, I can see the data of Oliver is here. If I close the file and select another staff member, it says Park, it was in the North Building, Quality Control. If I send this data, I can open the Word file and I can see that now I can find Spark information. He's working in the North Building in Quality Control. Before you watch this video, if you pause the video and try to search online for any tutorial about how to send data to a fully formatted Word file from an access form, you will not find it. Actually, I counter this case when I'm creating a database for a big company and they wanted all the contract and document to be fully formatted Word file, but they need to select the data on the run from an access database. So let's start the scenario. In our database, we have only one table, which is the HR list table. In this table, we have 741 staff members. I will create a form and query. The form will take all the information from my table. Of course, you can format the form as you like. And I'm going to insert just a combo box to help the user to select a staff member. So from form design, combo box, find the record. I will find the record based on the ID, but I need to display the name. So now here we have a list of all the staff members name and I can select any of them to display. Now let's close this form. I will name this form as HR. Now I'm going to create query using query design to display all the information, but according to the selected staff member. So I'm going to refer to form is HR ID. In plain English, we are going to display all the information based on the selected staff member in this form. This query is not a select query. Let us save this query. I will save it as export. This query is not a normal query. It is a make table query. It will make a table name. You can use any name. I'm going to name it send word. Now, if I select any staff member, Owen, I can run this query to create the table. So now I have one table named send word. Now I'm going to close the database. I will open the Word file, which we need to format with the data. I will start uh, with a template. Let's say we will modify this based on the information. So instead of news day here, we have the staff member name. So mailing select recipient to the existing list. I will refer to my database and select the table we created using the query. So now this Word file can find the information from my table. So I will add the staff member name here. Let's add his department. Here's ID, fine. Uh, I will add the department here. I will add the building here. So now we have the staff member, his ID, his department, his, um, his building, let's add his salary and so on. So you can add information to a fully formatted Word file. Now I'm going to save this one. Okay, I'll name it as Linked. I will close this one. Now every time you select a staff member from the database, you need to run the query to modify the data in the created table, and based on this data, the Word file will be updated. 
pot. So I'm going to insert one button here. There is no shortcut to open the query, so I'm going to cancel and add my own code using event on click. So on click, I'm going to do command, do cmd, open query, and the query name is export, I believe. We need to check the query name, yes, export. So this button will run the query, but this button will uh, give us three warning. So every time I try, let's try with Lisa. We got one warning that we need to delete this table. Another warning that we are going to create another table with the new data. So we have three warning. I can stop this warning. Now, if I open the export, uh, the send word, I can find Lisa's here. And if I open the word file, we name it as linked, we will find that the word file is formatted with the new data. So now we have the same document, the same formatted document, but the information from Lisa record. Now I need to stop this uh, warning message. So I need this code to run without the three messages that we need to run the query and delete and so on. So I will modify the code to set warning, so do command, set warning off. But please remember to set warning on again. So okay, set warning is supposed to work in, but I don't know why. So work warning on. Now, if I let's select another staff member, Stephen. If I run here, it looks like nothing happened. But if I open the table, I can find the Stephen. And if I open the Word file. If it's not updated, you can just close the database. Yeah, because the modifiers are good. So I'm going to close the database. Let's open the file. Yeah, you can see now it is Steven. Uh, you don't need to close the database, but maybe because we formatted, we change the code. So I'm going to try one more time without closing the database. So I will open the form, select McDonald, click here, open the Word file. And you can see McDonald information is there. That's it. Thank you.